The scenario tool allows us to run different scenarios or different case studies within Promax. So for example, here I have a lenamine that I'm sending in to sweeten up my sour liquid here. And I want to see how fluctuating my amine flow rate is going to affect how much H2S is left over in my sweet liquid. So I can do this within the scenario tool. And the scenario tool is an Excel add-in that we have. And so to start, I need to come up here to the Promax ribbon and choose to add an Excel workbook to this project. When I click on that Add Excel Workbook button, that's going to create an Excel workbook here within my Promax project. So this Excel page is embedded in Promax, meaning that it's part of our Promax project. That means when we save Promax, this project will save as well. When I close Promax, the Excel page will close. And when I open the project back up, this Excel page will also open. Now a couple things to keep in mind. If you want to save this Excel page, you actually need to use the Save button within Promax itself so that you save the entire project. And there's this Excel Close button, which when you click on it, it asks you if you want to delete this Excel book. And so keep in mind that that's actually deleting the Excel page, not just temporarily closing it. So you want to click No if you don't want to get rid of the data you have. And you know, just keep in mind that when you close the Promax page, this will close. You could minimize this if you just want it out of the way. But this will just close with the Promax project. Now this does have all the normal functionality of Excel. So I'm going to set up a table here where I number all my runs. I'm going to write out the different amine flow rates that I'm going to use. And then, as I said, I'll re report back my sweet liquid H2S concentration. I'm going to give units to these as well, so I'll make sure I know what units they report back into. And then, as mentioned, you can use any normal Excel features here on the Home tab. I can bold words, can change my column sizes, you know, I could add some borders, anything you want to do to your table. We can create graphs when we're done with the data. That's all available to you. Now I need to choose what amine flow rates I'm going to use. So I want to go from 10 gallons up to 30 gallons. And I'll count by twos here. Okay. And I'm going to number out all of my runs as well. There we go. Got some strange bold here. And I can unbold that. So now these are the different amine flow rates I'll use, which adds up to 11 different runs or scenarios. Now I'm going to use the scenario tool to input these flow rates and have Promax calculate the H2S. So if I come now to the Promax tab, you'll see I already have the scenario tool loaded. If this is your first time using the scenario tool or if you need to reload it, we can do that within the Excel file menu. So I'll click File and come down to the Excel options. Now in this new window on the left, I'll see an add-ins section. At the bottom, this will bring up the Manage Excel add-ins, is what I want in this drop-down, and then I can click Go. And now I can go Browse for this scenario tool. So I'll click Browse. Where I need to go is inside of my computer. I go inside the C drive. We're going to open up the Program Files 86 folder. Next, we open the Brian Research and Engineering folder. Inside that, we'll see a Promax folder, and then an Add-ons folder. Within the Add-ons, we have Excel options. If I choose Excel, and here is that Promax Scenario tool. So you will select the Scenario tool and click OK. I'm going to click Cancel since I already have it loaded up. But once you click OK, that will take you now back to your Excel page, and the Scenario tool should be loaded. So to use the Scenario tool, I'll click here on the Scenario Tool button. I'll bring up the Scenario Tool window. You'll see at the very top it has my Promax project named here. And below that I can name my different scenarios. So I'm going to type in here my Amine Flow Study, since that's what I'm analyzing here in this example. Now the boxes below right here is where I can choose my Promax input values. So in this case, that's going to be my amine flow rate. And then below, I'll choose what I want Promax to then output back to Excel, which will be my sweet liquid H2S concentration. 
So to add these variables, let's start with our input variable below input. Let's choose add variable. And I'll bring up this window now for me. First thing I'll do is name this variable so I can keep track of my different variables. You can have as many input or output variables as you'd like, although in this simple example we'll just have one of each. I'm going to name this my amine flow rate. Now I need to go and select this object inside of Promax. So I click on the Select Promax Object button, and that will bring up my moniker tree here. I'm looking for this linamine stream where I have that flow rate set. So I'll go inside my flow sheets, the LLE treater page, and it's a P stream that I'm looking for. And here is that linamine stream. Look inside its phases, at the total phase, inside its properties. And if I look through my list, I'll find down here this standard liquid volumetric flow. Okay, you'll notice that some properties are bolded while others are not. So Promax will only let you input a variable in a location where you as a user could type in a number yourself. So in this example, we've already typed in manually some volumetric flow rate. And so we can override that with the numbers in Excel, but I couldn't type in some molar flow rate or mass flow rate because those all are all going to be determined by the liquid flow rate that I'm inputting. So I'm going to just select standard liquid volumetric flow. When I do that, you'll see its moniker now fills up my variable window here. I'm going to double check that my units are correct at the top right. And now I need to choose which cells in Excel are my amine flow rates. So I just need to come over into Excel and highlight the cells I'm looking at. As soon as I have those highlighted, you'll see the cell address updates. And now that I have that all set up, I can click OK. And we'll see that variable now exists here in my Scenario Tool window. We have the variable name as well as its Excel range. So this gives you another chance to make sure you selected the correct range. And we also have the units shown here. Next, let's go grab our one output variable. So here on the bottom section, I can choose Add Variable. I need to name my output variable, which is my sweet H2S concentration. Let's call it sweet H2S. I need to go grab that property within Promax, so the Select Promax Object button again. And this will bring up the tree again. And one thing we can also do with the scenario tools, we can actually click on the objects within the flow sheet that we want to look at. So I'm just going to click right here on the sweet liquid hydrocarbon stream, and that will take me to that stream. It will take you to the same property we looked at last, since it kind of assumes you're looking for the same thing. And that's not exactly what we're looking for here. So I'm going to scroll up and close the sweet liquid HC. Excuse me, I want that open. <laughs> I want to look inside its phases and at its total phase, but instead of looking at the properties, I'm going to close the properties and open the composition instead. And here will be my different type of compositions, and let's just grab a mole fraction. Now load up the different components I have here, and I'm just looking for H2S. You'll see now that all of these properties are bolded. So now since we're just reporting values back to Excel, we can report back any value Promax calculates. So I'm just going to click right on the word hydrogen sulfide. We'll see that moniker now appears. Next thing I need to do is choose my cells, and we have these arrow buttons to help us select cells. Since I'm just moving to the right one column, I'll press this right arrow button, and that will move my selection over one column. Make sure my units are correct in PPMs, and click OK. Now we have our two variables selected. And so Promax is going to take the amine flow rates that are in B3 to 13, run those through the, scenario, the simulation, and report back their sweet H2S values. So I'm going to come down here and click Run. If I move this box, so you can kind of see my picture here, you'll see that it's changing color, so it's literally plugging in these amine flow rates, converging the simulation, and reporting, reporting back my H2S. At the very bottom here, you can see that it's set up initially to do all the runs, so 1 to 11. But you could change the numbers in these boxes. You know, if you only need to do the last five runs or something, you could type in 
which run specifically you would like to do. And that is, in essence, how the scenario tool works. Now we have a more advanced video where I will explain kind of these different buttons here at the bottom. Also explain how to use this adjust cells button as well as the manage scenario button up here. And so if you're interested in learning more about scenario tool, I'll encourage you to watch those videos as well. But I hope this video has been a really a good and useful basic start for the scenario tool for you. If you ever have any questions or need any help with this, feel free to give us a call anytime. Our number is 979-776-5220. Or you can send us an email at support at bre.com. So thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day.